I'm Uddhav Tiwari and I'm a public policy advisor. We can move on to what are some of the top highlights that are present in the non-personal data report that you should know about as an investor. I would say that the first and the largest highlight as an investor is the fact that you should be aware out from the non-personal data report is that it actually creates a category called data businesses. And it says that all businesses above a particular size that actually generate data need to register as a data business, creating an almost like a new kind of compliance that many businesses would have to follow. It is important to note, however, that this is still in a report form and this is not law. And we are probably at least a couple of years away from seeing a full-fledged law on non-personal data being enacted in India and also being made binding. However, this category of non-data businesses and this idea itself is likely here to stay and is something that will not only increase compliance, but also increase the record keeping that a company will have to undertake for the kind of non-personal data that it collects and how much of that data it necessarily makes accessible. The second key highlight from the report is that the role of the government and the role of entities like trusts, which are largely paternalistic, which is entities that tell individuals or entities what to do and what not to do and how they should go about doing so is likely going to massively increase in the data ecosystem. This, many people could argue, is already taking place with regards to personal data. But there, there are some very key considerations in our privacy that justify that taking place. This increase in the role of governments as well as other data stewards such as data trusts is something that is likely going to cause some friction between companies and startups as well as entities that decide to carry out these roles. And while the report doesn't really go into the details of how things like privacy, security, and the general power imbalance between governments and, and private entities is going to be addressed, it's something that is definitely one of the top highlights and is likely to be one of the enduring issues in the non-person data report. We've already spoken about compliance and the fact that compliance is going to massively increase because of the fact that they're going to be new like news items about different hacks and breaches that are taking place as well as many new laws and regulations that will come forth to implement non-personal data regulation now because of the fact that it will become just like privacy is right now an issue in the public spotlight and will also be something that there will be laws and regulations mandating a particular kind of compliance it's very clear that this is definitely going to be an issue that is going to play out in the public domain as much as it will play out privately, which can have a very tangible impact on the valuation and the general operation of especially smaller companies, but also larger ones. It's also very key, I think, to, as a takeaway from the report to talk about how the creators of that report call it a statement of intent. They actively say that this is not a final report and is still in its draft form and have actually encouraged public comments and consultations from many individuals. In that regard, it is very important to make sure that one doesn't start building compliance mechanisms to comply with the things that are present in the report because it is still in its draft form. However, tracking the report very carefully and making sure that its outcomes are always beneficial to the ideal of uh, innovative e technology ecosystem in India is something that the technology sector and the investors are best pleased to do. And while there is much left to be decided, there are already some aspects of non-personal data that are even present in the draft data protection bill that may be law as soon as early next year. Because of the privacy and data protection bill considerations around non-personal data in the data protection bill, which are limited to the extent that the government can actually demand for non-personal data for public policy and planning purposes. It's very possible that certain companies, likely larger ones, but possibly even smaller ones, may have to go up against non-personal data well before we have a dedicated non-personal data law, which only adds to the reason that one should be watching this issue very carefully.